Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the tools and equipment needed to fit a standard set of dynamo lights. Um, but I'm going to show you the way I wire them up. So, should we go through the list first of what we'll need? We will need a pair of wire cutters, side cutters, snips, whatever you want to call them. Um, you, just a couple of spanners, usually an 8mm and a 10mm, so I've got this double-ended one here. 8mm on one end, 10 on the other. And just in case, another 8mm. And um, it might be a good idea to have um, two 10mm as well. So, just in case, I'm going to add another one. Um, flat tip screwdriver. Shouldn't need any smaller than that. It's just that some of the bolts have a screw head. Um, with the dynamo light set, you should have front lamp, rear lamp, and in this case, you have a two piece bracket for the rear um, dynamo on the top, lamp on the bottom should have a bracket for the front lamp. You should have two bolts for the rear bracket. A nut and bolt for the rear lamp. And another little bolt for the dynamo. And of course, your bottle dynamo. In this case, I'm using a union set. Uh, you will also need wire. In this case, I've just got some old two core. Um, I think I cut this off of an old uh, power adapter. And for the wiring that I'm going to be doing, you will need some assorted little crimps, crimp connectors. So, that aside, I will show you what we've got to do next. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put the front light on. So what I'm going to do is get my lamp. You've got your little bracket there. You put one side of this bracket, as you can see it's in two halves, either side so the lamp part goes between. And then you just slot your bolt through. can be a bit fiddly, so you end up with something looking like that put the nut on. I'm not going to put the nut on tight for the moment. And then I'm going to bolt it up here. I'm going to use a bracket that's already mounted to the bike. I'll give you a close view in a minute. Now, this is why I've got the screwdriver, because with this one, there is a, a screw head plus an 8mm bolt. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Put the spanner on and just screw it up with the screwdriver. Hold that tight. Um, and sometimes that'll grip down on the bracket fine as well. There are other types of bracket. So, very quickly, I will uh, bring you over. That's what we've got so far. This type of bracket just bolts to the um, handlebar bolt under here. You can get other brackets that go on the fork. Or well, you've got one of these types that um, bolt through the front brake caliper. You'd um, take the bolt off the back of the caliper, slide the caliper off, slide this on the caliper, and then slide it back through and do the bolt back up. But um, I've decided I'll use the um, bracket that's already there. So I've done that. Uh, the next job, I have to move you again, I think. Put a light on as well. Um, I have got an extra job on the back here to do. Um, I'm not going to turn the camera off, I'm just going to. I'm using the computer as a stand at the moment, so. <laughs> kind of a cheat. Because the, 
stool I've got is a bit too high. So, I need you there. Actually, bring you a bit closer. So you can see what I'm doing. So, I now need the bracket, all the dynamo bolts, and the lamp, and it looks like my lamp hasn't got a bulb in, so I'm going to um, have to do that as well. Ooh, I'm actually working out this way. <laughs> uh, I've got to remember where I put the 10 mils from. Ah, uh, yes, this is where you need two 10 mils. I'm not sure I like the angle of the front light, but come on. <laughs> now, what I'm going to start with first is the actual bracket. I'll put that on first. Um, right, once I've got that thing on, I forgot this thing was on here. So, I'm just going to take this off. Hopefully, I can get the bracket on. This is also where you need to screw on. And hopefully when you put them on a bike, you won't have a bracket in the way. Oh dear, right. So. Should come off with my fingers now. I should have done this before I start the camera go, but never mind. Right, I'll take that out of the way. going to get one of the 10 mil bolts and slot through. Now, when you put this on the bike, you've got to make sure that the plate with the screw in is facing away from the bike. Because that is technically the screw you're supposed to screw in. That'll scratch your paintwork and make a ground connection. But um, that doesn't really matter in this case because we're not going to use it. Right. Go under there and I'll just go on. No oh doing, would you believe it? <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Um the bracket uh <laughs> the bracket won't fit. <laughs> I'll just try one thing. Screw the screw in but might might work, might not work. We're about to find out. Is it going to work? Uh, possibly. Mm. I'm going to find out oh, just to put the bolts in and do them up. Preferably without cross threading. No more cross thread. tight to begin with, I just want to hold it in place. We'll see why in a minute. I just want to do it up enough so it stays in one spot. Like that. Right. Now, the dynamo also just needs the bolt. The only one that has the nut and bolt is your rear load. And that obviously goes in your top bracket here. Oh, and it looks like I've got the bracket in the perfect spot. <laughs> now, if you're in the UK, you should have a right side dynamo anyway, with the set. But other countries, you might get a left. Right, it's got the bolt somewhere there. Now, I am happy with that, so I'm 
going to pull it away from the wheel just a smidge. And then um, crank the nuts down. The new bolts, I should say. Uh, now, I think I'm going to put the wire on this light before I um, put it on the bike, so I'll just cut a piece of wire and get a light bulb for it and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got me a piece of wire and what I'm going to do take the back off the lamp, you can just undo the screw in the back and twist and pull. And I was right, there is no bulb in here, so I'm going to get a 6 volt bulb out of my box. Um, some of them aren't actually good, but, well they're good but they're not very bright, so I may change this later, but this will do just for demonstration. Now what we've got to do is, um, I don't know, take about half an inch of insulation off, curl the wire around like that, and then you'll notice on the light body there's a little groove. You just sit the cable in there, hooking it, the um, con metal contact, so it goes inside the lamp holder, and just screw your bulb in. I think that's threaded actually, I don't think. I may actually go get another light because I don't actually trust this. <laughs> yeah, I've got to make sure the wire. Ow! I don't want to do that either. Line that, line the holes up, and put your screw back in, and hopefully it will light. Now, while I'm at it, I've got the front lens here, so I'm going to do that while I'm at it. It's just the same principle with this bit. Uh, I've got the extra wire. You don't need an extra wire going to the rear lamp, by the way. This is only for the front light. So, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to grab my wire. Yep, a bit off. And also, just to give the light a bit of protection from pulling the cable out, I'm going to um, tie a knot in the cable. And again, about a centimetre or so, excuse me, of wire stripped off the end. And uh, you just do the same as what you did with the rear lamp. As I've done throwing it on the floor, you've got yeah, base. And you've got a little notch here. So you just get your wire, fold it in there like that, and just hold it in place. Just screw your bulb in, and it's as simple as that. Now. We will need the extra wire that's waving about there, but not quite yet. So, I'm going to get organised. I'll uh, turn you off and move you. Okay, got the light sorted. So, what we've got to do is you've got this side and that side. I'm going to bolt that side to the bracket. Just goes on just like that. Nut on the other side. Oop. It looks like my bracket may have moved all by itself. Anyway, put this on. No. Bottom down level. It's uh, no 
worries. Make sure your light is pointed correctly in the right direction. And then you don't want it down there. You don't want it up there either. So somewhere somewhere there. It should be okay. Put that down tight. wash straight into the bottom of the dynamo, but we've got the front light to do yet. Yeah? So we've just got one modification. I found a spot to put you. Just stick you there. Who's there? Yep, I do. Hopefully, put a crimp here that will work. Yep. I'll show you what I'm going to do. This wire we've got dangling out. I'm going to um, strip a bit of wire off with my teeth. I don't recommend using your teeth. I really don't recommend using your teeth. I'm just going to get one of these eyelet crimp, um, crimps. And uh, slide that hopefully over the wall. That one's been used, so I'm going to try another. But things can be a bit fiddly. There we go. I'll just tap the wire in there now. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you can use cuz, but what I do when I use cuz and the wire stays in the crimp is I go right to the back because there's no blade there. and then just crush it down. Right, so you've got your wire. That's going to be your ground wire. Now, what we're going to do, is the screwdriver and the 8mm, and we're going to do this. Again. Right. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Oops. Just drop the nut on the floor, so now I've got to find the nut. Put your wire over your bolt. Put your bolt back through. Bring the wire down so it bolts on nicely like that. Now I'll drop the nut. No. I think I can see it. It's a dark coloured nut, not that which uh, doesn't help on a dark carpet. Ah, damn it. So that's what we've, we've done. We've just bolted the earth on. Instead of relying on the frame. Let's get that up. Done up as tight as you can. The tighter the so you get the yeah, earth connection like that. There we go. So, I'll show you. You basically have one wire going up into your lamp to your light bulb. 
and one connecting up as the earth. Now, the next job is just to run your cable along the frame. There's, you could just wrap it around your outer brake cable. I can't do it with the gear cable on this one because uh, uh, it's in the way. Well, there isn't no outer on the whole of the um, gear cable. So I can't, could use the brake cable, but uh, I'm just going to roughly trim some of this cable off because I don't need the bloody length I've got here. Um, one thing I actually like to do is to use zip ties. So if you just bear with me one moment. you do this you've got to leave enough enough slack in the cable for when you steer so uh, make sure there's enough slack and all I do is just run the cable along the frame and put a cable tie around it right so hmm. I actually just had an idea I could get a bit fancy with it <laughs> but it will tidy it up a bit more I'm going to go up the stem like this just because I want to there we go and that would be that there's enough there's enough clay in there and then you just basically run the cable to your rear dynamo along the frame, so I'm going to disappear and uh, do that and come back. Okay, so I've got the wire in place. Now, it's a good idea to use a wire which has got two colours. This one's got black and black with a white stripe. Um, you need to take note of which one you used on the um, headlamp. In this case I've used the wire with the white stripe going to the lamp and the black wire is the ground. So when I trim these off, what I need to do you want in this case I want the wire that goes to the um, actual lamp, the light bulb which is my white one to um, go to the dynamo. And the plain black one, which we used as the earth up the top there, and the headlamp, will go to the earth on this rear light bracket. So, I will uh, be trimming the wire down. Right. So, and, uh, using my teeth again, really should do that. I'm going to twist both lamp wires together, like so, and then I'm going to fold them in half. Now, with these Union Dynamo light dynamos, you just twist the bottom and they'll pop off. So, you just push your wires into the bottom like that, make sure you've got enough contact over the top there, push it in, twist the bottom cap around till it slides on and then just lock it in place and that's that. Now we're just left with um, finding an earth point. Um, I've got a couple of options. This is actually going to work, work, because it's rocking on there. I may have to uh, modify this with a bit of rubber, but it'll do just for this. So this we can, well, we can ground it anywhere on this bracket. It doesn't matter where. And uh, I've got a little crimp. What I plan to 
do. I've actually picked. A um, source, earth source, which I think will be this dynamite. That's going to be the easiest. So I'm just going to get this wire, do a bit of a rough measure, snip it, strip it, twist the strands together, and fold the cable in half, just like I did with the um, crimp on the front. Lock that in. And uh, crimp down, hopefully. Yep, it's crimped on. You know what I'm going to do? It's going to be a bit fiddly now. Undo the dynamo bolt itself just enough to get this little crimp with the two prongs under the bolt like that. And try and hold it all in, in, <laughs> in place. This is where it gets fitted. Screw the nut and the bolt back down. And in theory, it should all hold together. In theory. My, uh, didn't know I loosened it off that much. In theory, when I go and put the dart on the wheel and spin the rear wheel, it should have uh, lights. That's all they do, you just push them down, they spring on the tar, then you pull it back and it comes off. Um, right, so I don't know how well it's going to work, but uh, that is basically it. Um, I find it's easier to put this separate earth in for the front wire, for the front light rather, instead of um, relying on the frame, which can go rusty, the nuts go rusty, then you get bad earth, then you get poorly performing lights, so I prefer to do them this way. I'm going to have to do something different. <laughs> uh, I will take this bracket off again and I'll put some rubber between it that you get with um, bicycle lights. that rock too much. So hopefully every bike doesn't work. The real ones like that. I don't know about the front one. <laughs> Hard to see. But, uh, I'm going to assume so because if only one works then the other one's usually a lot brighter, and that was actually pretty dim in this light, so I'm going to assume the front light does work. So, I intend to keep these lights on there, but I will uh, change that back. Well, not change the back bracket, but put some rubber around it so it sits balanced instead of... Uh, Pickety pickety look like that. I'd use some PVC tape, but I haven't got any. <laughs> so I can't. But uh, there we go. They are that simple to install. Yeah, I'll put a rusty front light on, because like I said, I want the uh, bit of a rustic look to it. Oop, just tripped over the computer. I'm just going to shut the curtain. I'm getting sun in my eyes. So, yeah, that's what I've had you on. <laughs> Make shift stand. I was going to use the stool, but I figured that would be too tall. That, was, that computer is just the right height for this. So, there's my old Hercules with some lights on it now. Initially, I wasn't going to put the front light up there. I was going to save that for a battery light, but... 
That'll do. <laughs> it's working. It's on there, it's working. There's the other problems you can get with the um, relying on the frame as an earth, you can get rust in here, that'll stop it um, getting a good earth connection under here, in here, it's just, I just prefer to have a direct earth with the wire, I find it's more reliable. Um, obviously if you want to put these on a modern bike, you can get modern versions, you can even get battery lights which are based on this old design and they have LEDs in the front instead now I've actually <laughs> I have been very tempted to get some of those to see if they are any good <laughs> because I wouldn't I have to say I wouldn't mind some old style like that um, you can also get ones which have built in rechargeable batteries so when you start pedalling and the dynamo starts turning, it charges up little, I think it's lithium cells. And um, so I used to have a couple of rear lights like it. And um, they stay on when you stop pedalling, because obviously with this style, as soon as you stop pedalling or you come to a stop, no lights. And uh, I'd have to rely on reflectors, which it does have a rear one. And it does have pedal reflectors, which uh, tells me this bike has got to be 70s, possibly. I don't. I can't remember when that law came in over here. Anyway, I hope you liked the video and found it useful. So, uh, thanks for watching and give that like button a click or the dislike button a click, whichever floats your boat. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I do try to get at least one video uploaded per day to keep things as regular as possible, at least. Uh, so, yeah, again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.